what you see here is I've popped the ball joint out of the uh, knuckle here with your standard uh, you know pickle fork and all that and the reason is this truck got in an accident and that was my own damn fault and um, sorry for the shaky video and here's what it did to the ball joint you see that make sure you can see that it won't come out but it really destroyed it so <clears throat> now the question I may never know is if this was a Moog part would it have failed in this way from the accident um, this is a Chinese part $16 at your standard uh, auto parts store and I can't afford to put the Moogs in. The Moogs at the auto parts store are very expensive but off eBay they're, they're real cheap so <clears throat> still can't afford it so these will go in and get um, uh, swapped out uh, under warranty. <clears throat> I mean hopefully they'll believe that I wore this out but I'll just tell them it was an accident and see what happens. Um, I'm going to do the other side too but this is a side that was broken really bad. So anyway, um, I'm gonna unscrew this bad boy and get get it get it done. See you bye. Howdy. Well, I found something else I don't like. See the idler arm? Let's see. Yeah. You see it moving up and down? Not supposed to do that. So we got the. Get the ball joint in, it's all torqued down, new key or new uh, cutter pin and all that. I just gotta get it. Where is that piece of junk? Hey right dear. Gotta get it replaced. It won't be hard. Hardest part is the uh, separating that, but that's not a big deal. And then two bolts. Swap it out. So I gotta go see if I can get a part. See you bye. Well, here's a driver's side ball joint that's damaged so bad. The problem is, I can't get it to unscrew. I think what might have happened is the ball joint underneath may have flared out from being from this being yanked so hard, and that's why it's so tight I can't get it out. So, I'm just too beat to work on it today. I'll come back uh, tomorrow and see what I can find. Alright, sorry for the wind. See you, bye.